Welcome everyone to the third episode of the Swindon Town Road to Glory in a traditional FIFA slash EAFC crew mode tendencies. Everything goes absolutely wrong this year. After everything went absolutely right last year, finished in ninth place, almost got a playoff promotion spot, but unfortunately missed out by just three points. And then, well, this year is going to happen for us. Trying out a new formation, new to the EAFC game in general, a nice 4-2-1-3. I mean, obviously, it's going to be interesting to kind of see how everything works in the long run. But Devin Bishop has been sold to Sunderland for $3.1 million. George McErch, I don't know how to say his name, I, ha I ha can't say it, so I've decided to sell him to West Brom for $2 mil. Cole Palmer, we've officially now bought from Chelsea for a little over $6.9 million, but... Sunny 2 overall, was on loan for us last year, really like the cut of his jib, and also having a pretty decent amount of success in the real world, so going to want to have him. Jose Williams will be heading out on loan to LAFC for a full year. Salim Ali to Basak Kahir over in Turkey for a year. Colin Bailey to Allianzpor for a year. And Nicholas Tarnat will be joining us from Stockport, $1.35 million. German central defensive midfielder. I mean, 67 overall, nothing too crazy, but is a solid defensive mid and really fits the system I plan to be running with this team. Jose Ramirez sold to Sydney FC. Zachary Brown going on a two-year loan move to Cardiff City. Eusebio Bustamante, former Youth Academy player, sold to IK Sirius over in Sweden. Harrison Mintern joining Fleetwood Town. I don't think he's ever actually played a game for us since I took over, so... Felt right to eventually sell him. Nick Perry on a two-year loan move to Racing Day for Roll. Don't know where they are. Abu Kanu sold to Sutton United. Another player that I don't think has played for me since I took over. Alexander Cunningham sold to Sarpsborg 08. I believe in the... Are they in Norway, I think? And David Marshall will be joining the team from the free agents list at that goalkeeping position. 61 overall. He's just going to be a backup. But I like signing these older players to be our backup goalkeepers because a lot of times their kicking ability isn't what it used to be, which for backup goalkeeper, I'm not expecting anything out of that. And they're just pretty decent at saving shots, which is all we need from a backup. Josh Keys has been sold to Escoli over in Italy. Our youth academy, we're going to look for some English defensive midfielders. We're also going to be looking for some Irish right backs and some northern Irish attacking midfielders. Now it's time for our first game of the year, facing off against Blackpool. Hassan starts in goal, Iorfa, Saeed, center back pairing, expect that for quite some time. Hutton and Amin, also expect that for quite some time. Tarmat and Kinsella, starting defensive mids, I expect to see that for a long time. Kane at attacking midfielder, and then Gray, Abbas, and Palmer up top. So decided to try to start Gray this year, since we have used Williams in the past, just to kind of see how he does. This is a big proven year for him. Hopefully we can get the job done in this game specifically. Here are the highlights. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Oh, must be. And a goal. 1-0. I'm throw in. Kane. A very effective challenge put in. And I don't think Sheffield Wednesday fans are going to be best pleased looking at this particular table. They had designs on something much better. Well, Derek, I expected them to be the team to beat this year, but they just haven't. Can he finish? The goal has been turned on its head. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Oh, no, what a chance this is. No, it's... Wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Real defensive resilience. The save was a good one. For a chance there. Well, can they draw a level here? The crowd certainly thinks so.
see what they can do with this corner. And a short option preferred. Dangerous ball. So we did unfortunately only get a draw out of this game, even though we did a lot better than I think the result shows. But sometimes that's just the way the games kind of go. Now it's time for an FA Cup game now against Charlton at their home stadium. Switching now instead to a 4-2-3-1. I don't know what it is with the 4-2-1-3, just didn't really seem to work that well. So hopefully the 4-2-3-1 works better for us. Here are the highlights. Palmer with it. Working so hard to win back possession. Palmer with it. Now they come back. Absolutely magnificent start. Woodwork wasn't. That's a sharp chance. Played over. Clearance needed to be better. Trying his luck, and a goal! So we did win the game 2-0 thanks to a two-goal effort from Michael Gray, who I think might have earned himself a starting spot for us in the long-term future. But we're only three points off of the relegation zone. After being only three points off of a promotion spot last year, we have certainly regressed, and there is a possibility that we do get relegated. And next year, the team might look, is going to look a whole lot different, but especially with Jordan Turnbull not being a starter for us, will look very, very different. Joey Jones on a two-year long move to San Lorenzo. Now it's time for another FA Cup game, this time against championship side Cardiff City. Obviously, we're playing up a little bit, but this will be a good test of how good this team truly is. Hopefully, we can get the result that we need. Here are the highlights. So we did win the game 1-0. Hassan, our goalkeeper, man of the match performance. Seven shots, six saves. Phenomenal job by him. And it's really, really strange seeing a goalkeeper being the man of the match. I mean, but it was a 1-0 win, so makes a lot of sense. Now it's time for another FA Cup game, this time against Shrewsbury Town. Another championship side, I do believe. Here are the highlights. Committed challenge. Valenzuela. A lot of space to attack. Oh, surely! There it is! And he could scarcely have had an easier... Did it so well, but just a fraction too high. Well, did well to win the ball back. To open them up, he just needs to remain icy cool. And it goes into crossing the line, was it? He's driven in the corner, still a chance, and in at the second time of asking. Taken away, he won the ball. Cleared away. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. What a commitment to defending. And the penalty has been given here.
is it going to be 3-1? shortage of goals in this match, 3-1. Good looking move, this. Can he find the net? And he's made it a break. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Good idea. So we did win this game as well, a nice 4-2 win, we're going on a nice little bit of a cup run, don't know when it's going to end, hopefully it's not anytime soon, but an amazing performance from Abbas, man of the match, 2 goals and an assist, and the eventual run did end. Brentford, Premier League team, no chance we're going to win that game, 3-0 loss. Joining the team from the Youth Academy is Abu Ibrahim, Moroccan attacking midfielder, He's pretty quick, decent dribbler, obviously working on that passing a little bit. George Bell from Northern Ireland, who I would maybe try to get to be a really good player, just kind of be a nice little George Best regen, since their names are almost the exact same, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Same goes for Abdul Mahid Abdullah, central defensive midfielder from Egypt, 5'5", five five, looking to make him a little bit of an N'Golo Conte type of player for us. Seeing Cash, an Irish defensive midfielder, 86 to 94 potential, physically strong, very well-rounded player. Probably not going to use him for a couple of seasons, but send him out on loan a couple of times. When he comes back, he should be amazing. Daniel Tierney, just a pretty standard attacking midfielder who's got some high potential. Darren Rice, aka Declan Rice, is what I'm going to try to make him into. Irish center back, changing him to defensive midfielder. Just going to try to follow the career path of him. And Jay Long, 82 to 94 potential. Not exactly all that good as a defensive midfielder, but he's truly an attacking midfielder. Just look at those stats. So we'll see how that goes in the future. Frankie Dunn, just a pity promotion, I guess. Now it's time for a league fixture. This time we're hosting Oxford United. Our starting 11 is the same it has been all year long. Here are the highlights. Forward. They'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Abbas. Oh, big chance. Oh, it's gone. And Derby goes. As we approach half time. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Sheffield Wednesday match. Alex Scott can fill us in. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. It's a nice pullback, a long driven. Can he finish? And there it is! It's been excellent. Possession changing hands. That's a good pass. Oh, that's a solid piece of defending when it looked as though it might go wrong for them. Attack is on, options available. Chance to run at them. Delivering it into the box. And putting his opponent in the nick of time. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given.
and this could really make certain. Oh, and it goes! No! Brown. And fed back to the goalkeeper. It's looking promising. Good looking move. And the start is in! We won the game 6 2 0. Cole Palmer, amazing performance. 10 out of 10, 4 goals, 0 assists. Abbas, goal, and 2 assists. Kane at attacking mid had 2 assists as well. James O'Leary, Youth Academy player of over 70 overall, so you already know he's going to be good. Left winger, currently probably going to have him be a left mid, but 73 pace, 80 dribbling, 73 to 94 potential. Going to be. Competing with Gray, at least initially, to be a starting player in this team. Felix Walker is a lot more of a prospect. I'm actually working on changing him to a center back, so he'll kind of join the mix there. William Reed, central midfielder. Six foot six central midfielder, by the way. 80 to 94 potential. Nothing too crazy there. He's big. He's a traditional kind of basic central midfielder, so probably send him out on loan for a year or two until... He can kind of develop the rest of his skills. But in the league, we ended up finishing in 14th place, avoiding the real bit of a relegation scare at the first half of the year. But again, a pretty massive step backwards for us, unfortunately. Palmer was the third highest goal scorer in the league with 18. Abbas, our starting striker, by the way, led the league in assists with 11. FA Cup, unfortunately, knocked down the fifth round by Brentford. Carabao Cup, second round knocked out by Wickham. And in the EFL Trophy, again, knocked on the third round for the second year in a row by Peterborough, 4-3. Gray led the team in appearances with 56. Just behind him was Kane with 55. Goal scorers, Palmer and Abbas leading the team with 19. Kane also had 14, so those three have really performed for us this year. Abbas, 12 assists. Gray, 10. Palmer, 9. Kinsella, 8. We're getting a lot of production from our main attacking players. It's just, unfortunately, evidently not enough for us. David Marshall is retiring at the end of the year. Didn't really get to use him in the way I thought I would, but glad he was able to finish out his career with us. And Abbas is our most valuable player at 20 million. Palmer behind him with 12.5, and then Williams with 11. Overall, as a team, we've played 169 games. We have 65 wins, 45 draws, and 59 losses. 258 goals scored, 246 goals allowed. And next year, just to kind of change up something, because clearly we're not doing something right, going to be switching to a 3-4-3 formation. I mean, I'm really just looking for anything. Don't know what happened this year. Like, I didn't really change anything all that crazy. Our overall it's just slowly was going up and up and up. So we're going to just need to somehow find some way to do something differently next year. But... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed to obviously see what happens next year. Go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see the previous episodes, should be coming up on the screen shortly. Or just go to the playlist tab, click on this series, and also browse some of my other series. So again, next year, hopefully things are different. And I hope to see you all then.